Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you like the basics on the Megumi. So like all the different stitches, how to do a magic ring, increases, decreases, all that stuff. And I know there's probably other videos out there on doing like this exact same thing. Um, but I just wanted to do my own take on it. Because Lumigurumi can be confusing when you're starting out. But then once you get the hang on of it, it's super easy. Like once I got the hang of it, I made my own design of this. I did write the pattern down, but I didn't make a tutorial yet because I don't feel like it. Because there's a lot of rows in this. It's Toy Cupcake from FNAF 2. But so once you get the hang of Lumigurumi, it's super easy. Um, and all you need is a hook, bands, and then a stitch marker, which you can use an actual stitch marker, or you can use a C-clip. I like to use the colorful ones, um, but you can also use the clear ones. I just prefer the colorful ones because then you can kind of try to match. Like, I just like matching the colors with, like, what I'm doing because there's, like, a bunch of colors. Um, there's, like, the whites, the greens, pinks, purples, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, so when we room is super easy, I used it to make the shirts I have, I used it to make that cupcake, a bunch of things. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is a magic ring, which is basically the base of like every Lumigurumi design. Like you always start with a magic ring. It's usually six stitches, sometimes it's five, sometimes it's more, so it's like hit or miss, but usually six, so I'm just gonna do um, six stitches. But anyways... Um, Lumigurumi is also always, like, single-banded, so that's good because it saves bands. Um, so you're gonna take one band on your hook and wrap it around, so there's, like, three loops, so you're technically gonna wrap it around twice. Um, so one, and then two, but that makes it, like, there's three little loops on there. Take one band and pull it through everything that's on your hook. Put the other end back on, and then pull out that cap band so it's kind of in the middle, and then do a slip knot, which is where you pull this bottom band over the top band, but don't pull tight, like, at all, because it could, like, mess up and distort the design. Anyways, but now you're going to go back through those three loops, and we just did one stitch in our magic ring, so we're going to do five more, so pull out five more bands. Okay, so again, pull through just the cap band back on your hook, and then pull through like this, like this, make a slip knot of those two. And you see, um, there's those are two stitches. So the one on your hook, one, two, and then you're gonna do that um, four more times. So again, pull through just those three slip knot um in the beginning for when i was doing lumigurumi i used to always get confused on magic rings i was like wait how do you do that mine's falling apart but then i was like oh i get it so i just decided you know i'll just do lumigurumi basic to like stuff because like to show you guys so you, you guys don't get confused as well because like I said before, Lumigurumi can be confusing. All Rainbow Loom is confusing, like, in the beginning. But anyway, so once you have six, you're going to count. Make sure you have six. So one on your hook is one, two, three. Oops. Sorry about that. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one is not a stitch. So don't do that. And then you can use your... um stitch marker c clip don't pull the band out too far like all the way like that just pull that a little bit to hook that on and that's like a stitch marker so if your hook falls out it like you won't lose your stitches now i'm going to show you how to do a single stitch so a single stitch you're going to go through your first stitch which is not this one it's this one so there's two loops um on your hook Technically three, because that one. Take one band, pull it through those first two loops, put it back on, and pull it through all of those. And that's um one single stitch. Okay, now for an increase. An increase is where you go in through the same stitch twice. Because, you know, that's like increasing. So, two bands. 
The next stitch, do you see, it's not this one, even though it may look like it. That band is attached to it. So it's not. So it's this next one. Um, so you go through that, again, two loops. So it's the same thing as a single. And then you pull, like, slip knot like that. Except now you do go back into that same stitch instead of this one. Go into that one again. And pull through. Like that. And then that's a decrease. Cause, or, I mean, an increase, sorry. Because now there's, that made two stitches instead of just one. Okay, now we're going to do a decrease. There's a bunch of different ways you can decrease. So first... There's the way where you just go through two stitches fully, like those two loops. And then you're going to go through those two loops. Pull through everything, like those front four. And then do the slip knot. But that way it does not look clean at all. So you're going to just take that out. There is something called an invisible decrease where you do two like normal single crochets and the two stitches you want to decrease are these two so single crochet except you're going to leave that on your hook sorry i'm chewing gum <laughs> like that and then you're going to take another band pu pull through those front four and then do a slip knot that's an invisible decrease because it's like less noticeable as the other one. But the way I like to decrease, because it doesn't take up as many bands as an invisible decrease, is take the front like loop, or technically like the way it's facing you, it's the front, but it would be the back, like or like the inside loop. So the inside loop of this first one you wanna do, and then the outside loop of the second one. One band, pull through those two. And then pull through everything, and it's still as invisible as invisible decrease, so that's the one I prefer to do. Um, but yeah. By the way, I'm sorry if I'm going too fast. Um, like I'm trying to explain it as like the best to, as my the best my of my ability to, but yeah. So sorry about that if I'm going too fast. But now I think this next stitch is called a half double crochet, which is the stitch I did in my shirt tutorial. So, you're going to start with a single chain, and I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to do one, but just in case, one band on your hook. Only wrap it around once, and then just pull through one band, and then, like, make a chain. Because if you're making, like, a shirt or a mask or anything like that, or, like, a uh, tablecloth, something like that, you'd want to use this one, like, this type of stitch, because it, like, it just, like, looks better like that like covers more brown okay but anyways so once you have like that you're gonna turn your hook around and go through that stitch like not up and downward like that you're gonna go through sideways like that so you have four loops on your hook take one band pull it through the first two loops and instead of doing like a sl um a slip knot you're not you're gonna take another band and pull through all of the loops on your hook that's how it gets like that half double crochet so again because that one's confusing go through like the side one band pull it through those first two take another band pull it through everything and then that's how you do a half double crochet but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's like all it is to Lumigurumi. It's um, but Lumigurumi is also like it's very fun because usually there's sometimes like it's very repetitive because it's a bunch of si oh single crochet and all these stitches like eighteen rows. But then sometimes you're like okay, you're gonna increase here and then single 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 decrease, like stuff like that. So that's also why Lumigurumi can be fun. Um, but I hope this video helped. Um, if it didn't, I'm really sorry that I, like, if I didn't explain well enough or if I, like, was too confusing, went too fast. Um, I tried my best. But, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped. Um, if you did, make sure you give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and turn on those notification bells so you don't miss any more videos. 
Bye, guys.